Gorns, this magical run continues here. What did you make of this latest victory? Uh, yeah, delighted obviously with the three points. Uh, like you just said, uh, five wins now on the trot. Uh, and I think, I think it was a fully deserved victory, to be quite honest with you. I thought we played really well in the first half. Um, but we said in half time to the players, we just wanted a little bit more. And we, we knew there was a little bit more in them, we, we, a bit more sharpness, move the ball a little bit quicker. Uh, and I think they've done that in the second half. We've managed to get the goal and uh, to keep a clean sheet, fantastic. And you had two glorious chances in the first half to yeah. break the deadlock before you eventually did through Jamie Reid and George Lapsley. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> I mean, Reed is one is, is incredible, really. You're just waiting to see the bulge of the net when you know from one yard out. Uh, he said he's just hit the lad on the on the, on, the, on his leg, the solid on his leg, and it's come out, uh, out in, back into the six-yard box, and he does it even four for us then. So you just hope and pray that that you think, oh God, we missed that chance. Uh, hope that doesn't cost us. But again, I think we played really well in the second half. We've limited them really to very little, very little, uh, and it was just nice to get that goal. That chance for George Lapsley, when he exchanged the ball with yeah. Jamie Reid, that would have been a picture goal. It would have been, yeah. It was brilliant movement um, from, from even deeper and then obviously ends up in the box. Very, very close indeed, but it's a fantastic run from Lapsley. And that's what we want him to do. I think first off, the gaffer was sort of saying, you know, he's running out wide a little bit too much. We want you to, you, if you're going to make your runs, you want to try and make them into the box. Uh, and uh, that was one of them, obviously. Jordan Barry, the man in form, had a big part to play in the eventual winner. It, unbelievable. Um, he, he was feeling his hamstring at times. We were contemplating, you know, is he all right? Bring him off. Um, but the thing is with Jordan, he's got that fantastic bit of pace about him. Uh, and it was so pleasing. We've been talking, you know, long periods now uh, about him coming inside. I think the most important thing is that he hits the target. You see so many people coming inside and you blaze them over the bar, they're trying these top corners and all that. Fantastic. That's what happens. He hits the target, keeper makes a save and we've got Reedy following him. Absolutely brilliant. Delighted with the finish. I mentioned Jordan Barry in particular because I understand you've been spending many a training session, well, you've been spending many a, a, a minute after training with Jordan Barry in almost one-on-one -on -one sessions, if I can put it like that. Yeah, totally. He's... He's probably one of the nicest men I've ever met, really, in terms of <laughs> how he goes about his job. And um, he was really down when we came. Um, but he's a nice guy, nice guy to work with. And it's little things like that today which makes me happy because the number of times in, in training or on one on ones or when we're doing a, a finishing session, you know, I can't stand it when we're blazing over the bar and all this. And, we say before the game, I'll say it every, before every game, you know, hit the target, hit the target, and delighted. That's what happens when you hit the target. You, never, you don't know what the keeper's going to do. Okay, he makes a save. I say that, brilliant. No good blazing over the bar, is it? And a goal for Jamie Reid, a vital goal here, another one for him. Fantastic. And he, he's really starting to get in amongst the goals now, isn't he? Following the, uh, a, a real period of endeavour where he was uh, not really finding the, the fruits of his labours. Yeah, but I think is, the thing is, what benefited Reid was, obviously, himself and the gaffer and, and all the other coaching uh, staff, he's to telling him, listen... Your goals will become because obviously all the hard work that you're putting in. He has he has run miles and miles and miles. He's holding the ball. He's trying to do everything he possibly can, and you get your rewards. Sometimes he obviously has been on a bad run in terms of goals. We've told him every single game. It doesn't matter about goals. It doesn't matter at all. You just keep playing the way you are doing. Keep getting into the box, and you'll score goals. They will come. This is rewards for all his hard work. And elsewhere, a debut for Stephen Quinn. What was your evaluation of his first start for Mansfield? Yep, we know Quinn inside out, fantastic. He gives us that bit of experience, that bit of bite as well, that bit of steel. You can see in his tackles. Um, and it was only down to, I think, <laughs> the last run in about 70 odd minute. I think that, he was shattered after that one. So just a bit of tiredness. But uh, he's a good player. That's why we brought him to the club. And how proud are you, at Nigel? Gary, the rest of the staff and the players of this achievement here. Five successive victories in the Football League for Mansfield for the first time in 30 years. Wow, 30 years. 
Mm, that's incredible. Um, very proud, obviously. Um, we keep saying, we keep saying to them, there's no better feeling. There's no better feeling than winning football matches, lads. And they, like I say, they've took another one on today. Long way home, fantastic trip home. You won't get a better trip home than tonight. Um, so, great feeling for us. Um, but the lads have deserved it. And the, at the moment, working incredibly hard and doing really well. So, well done to them. The manager's asked uh, for you to come and speak to the media post-match, but what are his thoughts and feelings? Can you share them with us? He'll be delighted. He'll be absolutely delighted. The only downside is we have ordered pizza. Steve McLaughlin is his fault. We have ordered pizzas on the bus when we got to night. He said he only lives two minutes away, and he said there's a nice fishing ship shop around the corner. It's absolutely beautiful, and the gaffer has gone ballistic because he'd rather have fish and chips than rubbish pizza. So he's let us down, Steve McLaughlin, massively. Any repercussions for that? Well, we'll see. We'll have to have a little chat on the bus on the way home. We'll see what we can do with Stevie. We'll have to, he'll have to have a punishment some way. So we'll, we'll sort one out for him. But we're absolutely devastated. No doubt of it. You've earned the food tonight, whatever <laughs> it comes in whatever form. Well done, Andy. Thank you very much.